describe it as yummy, but that doesn't tell me what it is. Um, we need marbles, by the way. If you guys oh, see I got to go. They're here for their chat. <gasps> There's Mr. Where's Darcy. Oh, I can get rid of it. No worries. Okay, good. I have the power. You have the power. The power. I should have known that you have the power. <laughs> the power. <laughs> I can get rid of these little Norton things. I always go, Stan, help! <laughs> and sometimes if it does, sometimes they don't. There we go. Hi, guys. Okay. We need marbles if you guys see marbles around. Okay. She's technically the last one we got for meds. Hi, all. It's time she was in here. Eek. Three. Hi guys. All right. I'm gonna put Lynette right up front and center, just how she likes it. Always do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Okay, that's a little too up front. She <laughs> found apples. Huh? She found apples. Of course she did. Where's the magic from apples? There's still up here. Oh, there's the marble. She was sleeping, so she was oh, not no. happy. Oh, I'm I sorry, marble. <laughs> She's like, wait a minute. Oh, I love her. Mm -hmm. She's not, that's, I don't like my medicine, though. Oh, I don't like it. I'm sorry, marbles. I didn't know that's what they wanted you for. Yeah, blame Mitzi. We weren't even going to do it, marbles, but Mitzi found you. I'm so sorry. Two minutes. No, I just want to get her. Get her. Get her. Okay. Okay. I wouldn't have found you, Marbles, I promise. <laughs> we were just going to skip it today, Marbles, but Mitzi found you. Blame her. I know. She's like, I don't want mad. That was... <laughs> Marbles will be okay. Oh. Hi, Murph. Hi, Murph. Yeah, him's out now. Hi, Sleepyhead. Hi, Sleepyhead. All right, guys. Well, you ready to get into some updates? I'll try to make them quick. I, guess I always do, but thank you. Um, okay, so we'll go into some updates that we have. We do have quite a few, and forgive me, but I'm always kind of all over the place. Hi, Jenny. Um, first off, I'll start with Murph because he's right here. And um, he, Murph is the kitty that was adopted out in February, if you guys remember him. Murph's got kind of a sad little story. Um, he was adopted out originally back in, ooh, mods, what was that, 2020, I think? I think it was about 2020. Um, he was adopted out, he was with that family for a few years, and he had some tinkle issues, uh, not, not really bad. Um, he just, there was like one particular spot that he just liked to tinkle in and they were like, we're, we can't do this anymore and brought him back. Um, of course, you know, I, he, we've not had any issues with him tinkling here. So we adopted him out in February and he had some destruction issues at his new home now where he was chewing power cords and phone cords and headbud cords and all these cords. So you know, just kind of being a cat, but, so he's, he's such a sweet baby. He is so sweet. He is such a sweet oh, Hi, baby. Shouldn't you want to bring him? Bring him over here. I suppose I could hold him. He's a huge, huge, um, sweet pie. Oh, and a big, big boy. He's very handsome. Do you want to come here, Murphy? That's actually Murph, but he originally was, uh, do you remember what he was, Mitzi, originally? I'm sorry. <laughs> what his name was originally? Oh, Kogo. I think it was Kogo. <coughs> Maybe. Kind of rings a Kobo. Oops. Kobo. That's it. Kobo. Kobo. Oh, thanks, yes. yes. Thanks, Jenny. There he is. Precious. He's a jumbo kitty. Um, big, big fella. He's just a, a big boy. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. What do you think, puppy? Well, hello, baby. And we're going to give him a few days in, um. How are you? 
we're going to give him a few days in Dodger's pen just to kind of get him, you know, used to the potty area and things like that. And and then we'll kind of set him back out and get used to the kitties running around because it's over. It's a little overwhelming. Um, he is incredibly soft. He's got the bunny soft fur. Um, just a boy. Um, he's just a boy. Oh, I love you. Yeah, so Murph and he's is fine being held. Yeah, he he's a very big love yeah. bug. He that was one thing the family said they he was such oh, yeah, a cuddler they just couldn't quite take all of those, you know, him him chewing things, which you know, I I do understand. I do. But I think you know, <laughs> we we know cats too a little bit and it's kind of cats are stinkers sometimes. <laughs> No. <laughs> you know, how many times have we lost the camera here because one of our cats chewed the cord in half or whatever. It's just kind of them being rascally. So I think he might just need a home that's... He is a cuddle bug. He is. That will just focus on him. Yeah, baby-proof your home. Yeah. Um, He's so handsome. He's got big, huge eyes. and Oh, I love him. So that's one update is, is Murph being back. I was very interested in what's going on around here, huh? There we go. That's See my Yoda. See my Yoda. No, it's pretty. He's very inquit. Like, are your hands getting tired? He's a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> um. Goodbye. Say see you later. <laughs> I think it's not very good at all, so they're bored. Yeah, I, th I think, in, in my opinion, and I, you know, I appreciate the family that brought him back because if it doesn't work it doesn't work you know and they did bring him back here which is how we want it you know instead of just throwing him outside like he could have been you know so I do appreciate that but yeah I agree sometimes cats they just they need more stimulation than a you know you know they just need stimulation I think would be helpful for him but um yeah so so there's that with Murph we did have uh, two kitties go to Dr. Darcy's this week. Um, one was um, Tasco. He went and got some blood work done. He had some uh, done about a month ago, so we had kind of a, a checkup on him. His blood work actually looks fantastic, so we're not really doing much different for him other than getting him to eat. He's not a big eater. We're still kind of working on finding what the best thing for him to eat is I think he's more of a dry food junkie he seems to go crazy for mama and baby cat so we're working on that so in my opinion I think he needs to gain just a smidge if he would gain two more pounds I'd be happy so but he, he's an old boy too I, I told Darcy that I was like well he just seems a little thin and she's like he's an old cat <laughs> but she's, he's an old cat so yeah um, so other than that, Tasco's doing awesome. We've got Mr. Darcy going in for a check on Monday. I'm trying to just get these older um, kids, you know, checked up. So, Lynette, updates that I'm missing because I'm sure I'm missing some. Oh. <laughs> That was, I, I haven't even shown her yet, the video of Debbie and Rathbone. I, I mean, I was, I was almost bawling. It's hysterical. The video. <gasps> Who is that, Alina? This I'm trying to figure out. And then as soon as you get closer, it stops. Right. Okay. Right. Um, oh, Rathbone. Thank you, Nance. Um, yeah, I, I did talk to Debbie, and she said it's okay that we, we talked over Rathbone's update. So Rathbone has a, a little bit of diabetes, so um, we, we're going to help her with treating that, you know, so just because that's a little intensive, and luckily we're right here, so I can give her a hand when she needs it, so that's good. Um, and um, we're going to help with that just because why not? We're right here and it's easy enough for me to give him a poke. But 
we're going to keep an eye on it. I think with him, and Darcy agrees too, it's such a minute bit of diabetes, if I'm wording that right. That, um, it's we, early. It's early. That we, she thinks we might be able to, to switch it and, and make it undiabetes. <laughs> That's mechanism. <laughs> We're gonna work to get him on diabetes to eat. So, oh, thanks, Nance. Um, so that's the undiabetes. It's <laughs> a scientific term. I'm going to school. I'm getting very learned. <laughs> Doctor Megan. Yep. <laughs> But we think that we can um, get it controlled and switched over with just, um, we're going to try some medicine for a little bit and um, see if we can get that reversed. So that's the goal for him. Um, as far as the adoption cancellation um, with Rumpelstiltskin and Magellan. Um, what that? I'm just going to say it out. Um, they decided that they weren't quite ready um, for two kittens after mm -hmm. all this time. And we would rather it be that way than they take them home and keep them for a year yeah. and then bring them back. So it kind of is what it is, and it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I would rather... Um... <coughs> You know, while it, while it, it, it's always like a bummer. It's like, oh, on the flip side, I would so much rather tell me now, you know, if, if you, if you're like, you know what, we thought about it and this just isn't going to be a good fit. It just won't fit in my lifestyle or whatever. Ugh. Bring them back now. I mean, cause when they go home, who knows what, um, antics and, and bad habits they might learn at home, you know, versus here. So yeah, if they aren't ready, it's better off staying here. So, yeah, I appreciate that because, again, that was, you know, that both of those, um, them and Murph, I mean, that's a hard decision for anybody to make. I feel bad for anybody making that because I don't think I could, even if I had a cat that was super destructive, destroying my house, I don't know that I could give it back. And then I would be in a pickle of, you know, a cat's destroying my house, but this is where we're at. So, and, you know, we see that here. You know, like, look at... Um, I don't know who, Spiker or Derecho, they go outside of the box. You know, luckily here we can account for that and be okay. So, yeah. Yeah, you're exactly. right, Bobby. They will find their people and mm -hmm. it'll be great. Mm -hmm. Exactly. How's Cecilia doing? I haven't heard from Debbie today. Um, I'm anxious to see how, how she did overnight. I think it actually will be okay. The The room that Debbie's got her in. I live it, in it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's much bigger than what she had. Um, it's a whole bedroom. Yeah, it's an entire bedroom. Um, she moved in a caranda. There was a couple spots that Cecilia specifically liked to lay in, in, in front thumper's room. Debbie's like, I'm taking this for her. And she would just <laughs> take it, make her comfortable. That's what we want to do, so... Um, so I'm anxious to see how they settle in, you know, it'll be, it'll be interesting. I know Bobby, we've been saying the same thing. We keep joking with Debbie, Debbie's retirement home for senior cats. Yep. Nan, she is with Debbie right now. Um, yeah, it, it's actually just a temporary kind of thing. We're trying, she's not adopting her. Um, it's just a temporary thing. We've been, we're running out of room. And we've got so many cats that don't like other cats, so they need to be separated. And we're trying to integrate them, and some just aren't wanting to integrate, which I, I get. So we're running out of room. So I kind of jokingly said, you know, gosh, we could free up Front Thumper's room for, for who knows what. Um... <clears throat> By, by putting Cecilia with Debbie, and Debbie's like, okay. And I'm like, oh, I didn't think you'd actually say yes, but that's perfect. So 
So Cecilia has her own house and, and Debbie will be able to give her more one-on-one -on -one time, which I think will be really fun for Cecilia. I know. We, we're joking. We're hoping Jabber. Yeah. <laughs> We've said that a couple times too, Jabber. So, yeah. So she's talking about maybe putting up a baby gate and letting the boys see her and seeing how they... We'll, we'll see how it goes, but... Yeah. So bless her heart. I know she's going to have like a... We're just going to start shoving every old cat at her and it's just going to be this <laughs> senior However, center. she doesn't have very many rooms either left. <laughs> uh, there was a question yesterday about not seeing Ilse get a chance for the main center. I told them, but they'd like to hear it from you. Um, actually, yes. Okay, so that's a great question. Um, Ilse being in the main center, she does actually come up sometimes in the main center. She does. Um, she is generally not a fan. Um, she does like to pick on, I don't know how, pick on's not the right word. She doesn't like when other cats get close to her. She, she's not a big fan of that. So, um, while she does come up in the main center and she does fairly decent for a time and then she decides that, um, I might need to take this. Can you go over that? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Sorry guys, I'll be back. Hello? Um, Elsie's kind of funny that she does she doesn't like the huge amount of cats that we have in here. She's more of a one on one cat. But she's doing great. Yeah, Cindy, she likes her own space. One thing I was going to um, mention today, and I'll do it while she's out of the room because she doesn't know that I'm going to say anything, but um, we do have a lot of cats. We are full to the max. We do not have room to take in anymore until we get some adopted out. Um, we also have lots and lots of cats. If you've seen us this morning, we have three pages of um, medicines to give morning and night and it takes a long time <laughs> um, so we are super super busy right now and Megan is being bombarded with emails and if, if there's um, if you guys can just cut back on your emails and you know, if she doesn't get to your email right away, um, just know that it's because she is swamped. And I don't answer he, her emails. She does not answer my emails. So that's not something that I can help her with. Um, but just kind of keep that in mind that, that she, is, she is being stretched big time right now. And that's why we do these Q and A's. If you have a question, um, you know, let us know. Ask us right here, because it, it may be a question that we can answer for 10 people instead of her getting 10 emails. Yeah, Jenny, we were hoping that the Q and A's help, but we haven't seen a big break in emails. Bobby, I don't know how Megan does it either. I, you know, she works two jobs and she's going to school and her plate is overflowing. Thank you, everyone. How is Jimmy doing? Jimmy's doing okay. Um, we did just have an MRI. He has found out that his um, cancer is growing in his liver. So we're still trying to figure that all out. <laughs> but he's, he's doing okay. Thank you. Yes, Jenny. Megan needs to put an automated message on her email. We are swamped. I will read and reply when I can. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, Megan's heart is huge, and she does a wonderful, wonderful job. Scrunch and Jess, if you if you have a question, and um, by all means, if it's something that I can help you with. Um, by all means, please send an email to me. I can, I can get to my emails lots quicker than Megan can. And if, Mods, if you want to put my email address up there, thank you. To me, and I'll take all the prayers we can get. Mm -hmm. We'll even pray for you all if you ask. Yes, we will. Thank you, Nance. Oh, thanks, Jenny. Hey, everybody. Any other questions that I can answer? Jimmy, will you be at FFRC on Tuesday? Possibly, but I'm not sure what time or for how long. Are there any particular needs for the center? Um, we can always use six, 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 inch styrofoam plates. Yes. Jimmy the snowflake. Um definitely cat food. Always, always, always cat food. Um our temptation treats are really low. Tim Tams. <laughs> um baby food. I guess that's the main things. How did the flash sale go? The flash sale went great. Um, if you have paid for your flash sale stuff, it is out. Um, I do have quite a bit not paid for yet, so just remember to get that in. Do you have those pictures? Uh, the, uh, Megan didn't show them? No, we hadn't got that far. <clears throat> How do we find out when Kitty Castle is available to rent and what is the cost? The, great question, Mandy. Um, the cost is $60 a night. And you can call me or email me, either one. And um, let me know your dates or where, what times you're looking at, and I can let you know if they're available. Jahani, yes, <clears throat> we are very low on baby food. Megan wanted to show you guys some updates um, of the fence and of some of the farm animals, the new goats. I sent them to her, but since she left us, I'll show you those for her. Okay. Um, the question is, would you rather have cat food sent directly or PayPal so you can buy what you need right away? It does not matter to us. We can do it either way. What exactly is Kitty Castle? Kitty Castle is a little um, building behind. If you go out the door here, there. <laughs> um, there is mine and 
Megan and I's office out the doors and then behind our office is a little um, room. <laughs> Basically a little bed and breakfast. Yeah, it's a little bed and breakfast. It's on site um, that you can rent out and stay here on the property and visit. It's got a um, kitchenette in there, small refrigerator, small stove, microwave, TV, internet access, and that's one of the things we're trying to prove is the uh, internet capabilities out there. It's nice because if you come to town to visit, instead of staying um, on the other side of town, you get to experience FFRC and the farm, um, the noises, the weather out here, it's nice. Studio apartment. There you go, Selena. Aw. It is. It's it's um <clears throat> it's nice. And you're right here on the property where do you see the ins and the outs? And you will definitely hear the peacocks. <laughs> It's a comfy little house. There is a queen size bed in there, and there is also a couch that pulls out. Yes, you hear the peacocks, oh, yeah, yeah. the guineas, the geese, chickens, ducks, the geese. chickens, rooster. <laughs> Any other questions? The peacocks are loud, yes. Yeah, and we're only three miles from town. How is Wheeler? Wheeler is doing great. He's doing really well. Um, yes, Marbles. Yes, Marbles is on hold. Cosmo is doing great. Him and Daddy still have a bro affair. Magic, he was right here earlier. Um, who else is on hold? Um, <laughs> go ahead. Show. Um, show you a couple of these pictures while she's looking. Oh, so here's the progress on the fence. That's the front side. It is fully painted and sealed. Uh, little Jimmy is working on the other side today. Can you guys see that okay? the other way. Here's the peacock on the goat's tire. And then today we hung a salt lick for the goats to enjoy. little video of them eating some straw or hay and some grain. They don't get grain very often, just as a treat every couple days. And there, there's the mama goat licking the salt lick that we hung. 
the baby wanted some, she told her to go away. So she'll have to sneak some when mama's not around. <laughs> the goats are friendly. Yes, very friendly. Very affectionate. I take lots of pictures out there. One day I'll come up and put them all in a group and share them with you guys. The goats, um, the mommy's five and the baby is three. Who herds the goats inside at night? That would be our blessed. Cindy. Well, and actually, they have a they have a lean to. Um, we were putting them back in the full barn at night, but we're trying them in the corral, in the lean to, and they have full access to go inside the lean to, get out of the weather, and they're safe. Um, they have an automatic uh, straw feeder in there and water at all times. They're doing really good. But yeah, Cindy was taking him in and out, in and out. Um, this frees her up and everybody else a little bit, <clears throat> and I think the goats enjoy it more than having to be in the 15 by 15 pen. Somebody asked me earlier where Magic was. Magic's in the bed right beside Jimmy. <laughs> the teddy bear bed. <laughs> Um, my, the question is, when is the best time to arrive to pay you on Kitty Castle? We take, um, it, we'll, we'll work it out once you're here. No worries. Yeah, Vicki, he's right here. Any other questions that I can answer? What you doing, Helena? Oh, baby. Then she says, I remember you. You helped me. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jenny. Jabber, did I get your check? Um... I don't know. I will check on that as soon as I get back. Hi, Kira. Did I miss you, baby? When is a good time to call you? Come here, Kira. Whenever. Kira. I'm here till 5, Christine, so whenever. See that? You're supposed to hug me. Come here. Come here. Terry, Hi, Terry. Come I'll give him a hug for you. I think she wants you to hug me right now. Tell Steve hello, Terry. Yes. Can you have Megan show his picture for boxes? I would do that, Jabber. Camby is doing wonderful. What kind of items sell well in the flash sale? Um, I think home, homemade or handmade items sell probably the best. Thank you, Nance. When are we going to sell FFRC t-shirts? 
Um, that's a good question. We're thinking about doing one for um, our catathon coming up. But we we are we are thinking on a new shirt. Any other questions? Terry, why don't you give me a hug? I gave you a hug. Shirts. How is the catathline coming along, and do you need help? They're they're, <laughs> they're they're kind of working out the details. They're going to have that wrapped up here shortly, and a good game plan, and going to kind of announce it to everybody with the direction they're going. It's going to be awesome and amazing because of you guys. We need time. It seems like me and Megan do not get sit down go over stuff time um and that's the biggest thing is we're just going to have to s close down a couple hours and work on it big time i don't know what we're going to do <laughs> okay no. i'm going to squeeze in here really quick hi guys i'm going to jump in really quick Sorry about that. No, you're good. Jump in, baby. For you. Okay. Oh, you did? Thank you. Okay, guys. Listen. No, I'm scared. No, you're fine. Um, I'm calming myself. I am still having problems, and everybody else, you guys are all amazing, and you can just step aside. I'm still having problems with that person out there. I'm done. I'm done. You gotta stop. I can't. You gotta stop. This is crazy. One person, you, is causing issues, and I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. <sighs> I'm very upset because it's pointless. You're wasting time, and you're wasting other people's time that we could be caring for animals. Okay? I'm sick of it. You gotta stop. It's just I. I'm done. You're wasting our time when we could be caring for animals. Okay? I'm so mad. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Like, all of you guys, you're wonderful. But it's just crazy. It's crazy. I don't understand. This person thinks I have this whole conspiracy going on against one cat, which is nutty, because I have somehow involved our entire staff to attack this one cat, and it's just crazy. It's crazy. I mean, you've got to stop. I, this is just, I don't know what else to tell you. The authorities have told you it's fine. I, I don't know what else to tell you, but somehow they're not believing that. So, <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. It's just, again, it takes away 45 minutes that I could be doing other things. And here we are. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'll go with anybody who wants to come. <laughs> it's the same person. It's just. It's literally one person. They think in their mind that they've got this whole like army of people. No, it's one person. It's one person. And it's just. It's. I don't know. I don't know what else to prove to you to make you be convinced, but. It's just, like, I, I literally am picturing, like, pregnant Jenny going out there, and she's like, <laughs> with Jenny. your watermelon baby, and you're, like, fighting people down. <laughs> Don't mess with Jenny. Her hormones are crazy right now. <laughs> and, you know, and, go, please. I'm so nope. sorry. No, go. Um, first of all, I want to tell you, if Megan was not doing a great job, I would not stand by her. Thank you. Um, Same. She does Thank a you. wonderful job, and we believe in everything that Megan does. And it, there's nothing here that I can complain about that Megan does. She is super. Um, 
we are pursuing this guy. Yeah, we are. And, and luckily... And not us. We have authorities pursuing this guy. Yeah. And he will get his due. Roz, don't um, be worried. Don't be worried. Um, you know, yeah, we, we are pursuing um, <clears throat> authority stuff. So the good news is um, I actually have the backing of all all authorities so that's good um it's just don't feed into him yeah I, I have not given him any um he has been blocked we have done everything that we can possibly mm -hmm. do on our end yeah <clears throat> and you know um the crazy thing is, is this is one thing that i don't understand is if, if you think that something like nefarious was going on wouldn't the 30 volunteers say something? You know, we've got visitors from coming out of state, out of country. Um, they would be like, hey, hold on, something wrong's going here. Um, they're not. I, you know, I, I don't know. This person has had confirmation from like four different people that things are, are fine here. Um, and I don't know what else to tell them, but for some reason, they think that it's not. And it's just, um, um, I would report to YouTube. It's obviously he does have some mental issues. Yeah, there's, there's um, something there's so, yeah i hope he's watching now because i i i don't know what else to tell them yeah it's just it's very just aggravating on megan's end our end mm -hmm. um that you know you can have 50 people and 49 of them raise you up and one put you down and you're going to kind of our our nature is to concentrate on that one person that's putting you down yeah so we just need to get over him and do what we do best. But at the same time, you can see that Megan felt today she had to come forward. She had to say enough's enough. She had to get that off her chest. It's not that she sits around 24-7 with this weighing on her because it no. doesn't. She, no. She's done what she needs to do. She's taken the proper steps. But at this point, she wanted to just come out here and say, mm -hmm. look, enough's enough. You have no hold on me with this. I no. don't know what your claim or you're trying to get out of this, but you just need to know. It's going nowhere, and that's it, enough. And I wanted to, she wanted to approach you and tell you this. Look, it's done. It's enough. Yeah, yeah. And and you know the funny thing is, is I truly actually don't give um, this a second of my mind because you're not here. Um, I am seven days a week. Um, she's here five. I mean, in combo, we've got volunteers. Cindy's here seven. I mean, you know. I, I don't know, I, I, I'm not going to give it any time, you know, I'm not going to give it any energy, it's just, it's, it's pointless, and no matter what anybody is clearly telling you, you're not believing, so, you know, best of luck to you, I, I don't know what else to tell you, <laughs> you know, I, I wish you the best in your life, so. And we're not worried about him coming? No. Come on. No, we've got security cameras. Yep. Um, our sheriff's department, which is um, absolutely super amazing. Um, I went to high school with actually a few of the sheriffs, and I think having my dad on the police force really helps because I've grown up knowing all these guys. So they know me, and they are um, super kind and supportive, and they've been making extra rounds, and, um, you know, I I'm so grateful for them. I can see on our sweet security cameras, like, little sheriffs going by, and I'm like, I love them. They're so kind. So, um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Jenny and baby as security. Yeah, it's a troll. That's a good way to put it, Roz, troll. So, yeah, Jenny and the cabbage. Is it, so where are we, Jenny? Yeah, what How size are we? It's fruit. They always go by fruit. Uh, don't worry, shelling in. We're, we're definitely being protected. <laughs> I'll hold him, Jenny. 
they would have to deal with Debbie, and that would scare me. She'll bite ankles. I know yeah. she will. Thank you guys for the, the support. You guys are amazing. You really are. And, and the sad thing, again, is, you know. Oh, we're veggies Oh, now. we're veggies now. Ooh. Oh. I miss, I miss the. Oh, he's a cabbage. Oh, a cabbage. Oh. Thank you, guys. Of the romaine lettuce on Sunday. Oh. Oh, I really want to hold a baby. I kind of want to hold it. You don't like babies. What? I'm holding No, them just the a baby. Time. When they can't do anything and they just look cute and just lay there. He's mine. Oh, there we go. A troll is a person of lower intelligence who has no life to pick on and stalk others. I'm pretty sure that that is the Webster's Dictionary version. <laughs> Thanks, no Um. Oh, dark. Oh, no, no. What? Jenny says she can. I get the baby. You I can look. look. <laughs> <laughs> I deal better with cats anyways, Jenny. <laughs> oh, shoot. So enough of that business because we're not going to give it any more of our time, guys. You know, we're just not. There's no point in feeding energy into it because yeah. there's just no point. Um, yeah. So, oh, thank you. Oh, Terry, New Murph Zealand. is doing great. Thank you, Coco. Murph is doing awesome. He's actually, I'm watching him right now. He is sitting on his little perch in... Dodger's pin, looking out the window and munching on some snacks. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You guys are amazing. Let's talk Spiker and Alma. Okay. What are we talking about? Spiker's awesome and super adorable. Oh, he moved from when I left, but he was laying here. Where did he go? You know what's hilarious? Have you guys seen, um, I don't know if he's there is this tiny little Barbie couch, and we moved it to the cabana. Have you seen him on this? Yes. He, he this loves, <laughs> loves, loves this tiny Barbie couch. So he's like this big, burly cat that is hilarious. And him just laying on this little Barbie couch. Or it's a Hello Kitty couch. Look how cute he is. He's like, I love this couch. It's perfect spiky size. And Alma's doing wonderful too. Alma is doing amazing. So one thing I'm super proud of with Alma is that um, Alma, when I when I took over, you guys know Alma has a mega colon. And a mega colon is super hard to regulate. Um, basically, if you don't know what that is, because I didn't, maybe I'm assuming you might not. It's where they get their, their colon instead of just running consistent you know, consistently like this, it kind of will um, flip into itself and kind of back her up, basically. Um, so it took a lot of time to get her regulated. And I have finally the consistency of meds that I give her. And, and it's just wonderful. She has not had one single incident of being backed up. It's wonderful. What flavor baby meat baby food do you need? Chicken, chicken. is chicken's always the most they love chicken. They lo I don't I don't know what it is. They love chicken. What's happening out there? Like, like, what is happening? Okay. Oh, you know, and I think that's one thing that you always think with the CH kitties is um, you always think that they can't do for themselves. They can't do certain things. And and they, they're really, really independent. Where's Ramsey hiding? I just saw him. Where was he? Oh, he's out in Cabana, I think. Ooh, Rich. A photo of Spiker in a frame would make a great gal come around for. Ramsey is in Cabana watching out the bed. How many kittens do we have? Oh, thank you, Ramo. Ooh. <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Where is Egypt? Okay, so Egypt is um, outside and we have a completely contained dog fence area. Um, he's been going out there and he just loves it. His favorite thing to do is catching bugs. 
He loves catching bugs. Um. Oh. Thank you, Kitty Francis. Thank you, Kitty Francis. Francis. That's amazing. Yeah, Egypt is, he's my spirit animal. I'm open to visit every day. Um, mostly Monday, um, Monday through Friday, but you can always message me too, Jonathan. Or send me an email and I can go from there. Tw how many cats? 20, 30? Uh. Uh, <laughs> we wish. Yeah. More like in the 90 range. Maybe, maybe, maybe 100 range. Um, you know, Susan, always speak with a vet for sure. Um, but we have a combo. I mean, can I say what we do for Alma's mega colon is, um, we do a combination of prednisolone, um, Tylosin, no, not Tylosin, Cisapride and Miralax. And you, it takes a little bit of playing to figure out the combo that, you know, how much Miralax that you use and things like that. But eventually you get get it regular that's what we use so you'll have to speak with your vet though because vets are super smart um how many kittens i would say 20 i was gonna say 25 um he is out in bella's place yes um how do i get a black ffrc shirt you know what's funny vicky um i Oh. Covered that that we are working on a new shirt. Okay, and you know what? I need the sign to repeat the questions. You've been pretty good. Have I been pretty good? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Prednisolone is one of those amazing. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. are we signed? <laughs> we signed? Yes. You want to see hi? <laughs> this is in the sided. There. Oh, oh, you can't see him. There we go. Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh. He likes the chin scratch, chin scratch. I love his crazy whiskers. They're wild. <laughs> like, you just need to, like, flat iron them because they're, like, all, you have mad scientist whiskers. Yeah, you have mad scientist whiskers. Where are you going? You going potty? Bobby Lucy yeah. is in okay. the front. Here she well, was in the front room actually... under oh, a blanket. It's cold here we today. We tried. Would you watching out the window? Hmm? Would you yeah. watching out the window? Oh, <laughs> his little, <laughs> there's the Ramsey. So Ramsey, something funny about him is, um, you know, a lot of cats get zoomies, and you see this a lot with Ramsey, with Lucy, um, Derecho does it too, where they just get like this and they just almost have like this spaz out moment where they yes. freak out and start wiggling all over. So uh, unlike a normal cat, they can't do the zoomies like other cats get. When they get real excited, they zoom. So the best thing they can do is do this like little like shaky, excited wiggle. wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wasn't that a cute shirt? Oh, Rachel's on the mat. Where are you, Rachel? Oh no, but look, magic's down. Oh, you can't see him. Darn it. Magic's down here, and it looks just absolutely. They have internal zoomies. That's right. Yeah, yeah, it's an internal zoomie. That's a good way to look at magic laying on this little bear. Oh, darn it. Oh, I hate oh, I hate that rotation thing on your phone. There. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at him. How cute is he? Hmm. All right. Well, I think think unless there's anything else like I'm sure mods you could probably hopefully stop the recording we've been jaw jacking for a while and that was probably my fault I'm sorry it was my fault you left I did leave and so <laughs> she's left to entertain and one thing about Lynette is she loves to be in front of the camera she does not no she's that's you should you can always tell she's always like half cut off <laughs> <laughs> oh give Steven love from you I will Jenny says, Megan gives Stephen love for me. Isn't he so sweet, Jenny? I just love him. Oh, 
Yes, Stacy, you're right. That's where Drachio normally gets his zoomies. Um, it almost it almost looks like he's having a seizure or something like that. It's not. That's just that's how he's expressing his zoomies. Oh, thank you, Bobby. You know, yeah, you guys really are so supportive. Yeah, you really, really, really are. And <laughs> oh, Jenny, you know her so I well. I love you. <laughs> She said, Lynette's favorite activities are sitting in front of the cam, entertaining us, and going with the flow. <laughs> That's, yeah, she loves going with the flow. She loves when I spring something on her, and I'm like, we're doing this now. And she's like, she, she told me that yesterday. She's like, <laughs> she's like, oh, small pumpkin. Here. Is this my baby now? She told me yesterday, she's like, um, you're, you got to get in your bed though first. She told me yesterday, she's like, we need like an hour to go over, um, catathon. We just really need to hammer some details out. I, I'm starting to get a little, little panicked and I'm like, it'll be okay, Lynette. It'll be just fine. We were just saying like yesterday, she said, I'm her light and she is my calm. <laughs> she is. She keeps me calm. All right. Well, um, we were probably going to head out and get some stuff done. I thought today, I mean, we, we have other things to do, but I thought today I'm maybe doing something fun and taking you guys on a little tour just around the farm. Oh, Lucy, can you give Bridge a little nuzzle? She needs some loving. I feel for her needing some space. Yeah, Bridge is such a sweet kitty. She yeah. just needs someone that will respect her space, you know. <laughs> Come on over, Stacy. Oh. Stacy wants to pick up her prize from trivia, Another which thing was Stacey guppy. Another I was not told about. <laughs> we, when we did that surprise trivia the other day. Or, you know, on it was Sunday. Me and, I think it's Sunday? I think it was. Um, me and Debbie just, or not trivia, it was that password oh, you game. Oh, played password. Yeah, yes. we were like, we have no prizes for anybody, but I mean, I guess you could have a cat as a prize. And so Stacy won one. She's like, I want Guppy. <laughs> password, that's it. So, yeah, I figured maybe I'll take, um, take you guys on a tour and let you guys... I, you know what, I agree, Bobby. We always have stuff to do, and there's definitely other things that we can do, but I'll work on them this weekend. We can get some fresh air and go for a walk. Nice. Maybe go to the backwater. Do you guys want to go to the backwater? We can go on a picnic. That'd be fun, except we have no food here. Bridge and Elsie don't get along, no. They're too much alike. They're, yeah, they're very much alike. Okay. Well, um, give us, how about, let's say, at noon. Um, noon 30? Noon, let's do noon 30. Noon 30, oh, 12 30. Oh, wait, what time is that thing? One. One. Biscuits. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have an appointment at one. We have a nail trim at one. We could do it right after the nail trim. Okay. Right after the nail trim. Let's plan on like one, a little after, one-ish. And um, we'll go to, if you have our Facebook page, the Friends of Felines Facebook page. You don't have to have Facebook um, in order to see it, from my understanding. I'll do it from there. But there's no way I could, I wish I could do a YouTube video from there, but I just can't. I don't, I'm sure someone really smart could figure it out. But we'll do it on the Friends of Feline Facebook page, and you can watch it from there. So we'll plan on, like, let's say 110, okay? 110. Should work. Should work. Okay. And then we'll do a little tour and just show you the farm animals. Today. We'll do it today. Okay? Go to the backwater. Today See the girls. 110-ish. 110-ish. Be on Facebook. Um, post it up so others can watch later. Yeah, we'll save it and we'll save it to chatter so the others can say, see it later. So, all right. Well, I will see you guys in a little bit. All right. Have fun.
we will see you in a little bit and you'll get this girl the girl goat i have not met the goats personally yet either cindy or jimmy i'm not sure who but someone set up a salt lick and apparently the girls love it oh did they sh he he show yep oh Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'm really sorry I lost my cool a little bit. Yes. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Forgive me for losing my cool. Hi. We'll be back. We'll be back.